Hi, Alvina. So where are you from? So can you hear me? Yeah. So where are you from? Okay, I'm I'm from Abia State in Nigeria. How did I'm you Nigerian. get into art? Okay, I studied art in school. Uh, I started off in 2007 when I got admission into the university and I did the course for five years before I graduated in 2002. Which course did you take? Okay, that was fine, applied arts. Uh, yeah. And then how did you get into wire sculpting? Okay, well, wire sculpture was introduced to me by my by my colleagues from IT. That was in two thousand and eleven. Oh, okay. Um, yes, they introduced me to wire sculpture. They also taught me how to weld, because um, prior to two thousand and eleven, I was not welding. I was doing only fiberglass. So uh -huh. they they introduced me to yes to welding and wire sculpture in two thousand and eleven. So typically it takes you about 500 hours plus and uh, more than 2,000 galvanized pieces of wire? Yes, it does. It does for, for a life-size piece of um, bust. That, that's what, that's how, how long it is. You know, the the process is not, is not as straightforward as every other type of metal work. I have to work with clay first before before um I make the mold from the the clay piece. Oh wow. Then after making the mold from the clay piece, yes, I, I now start bending the wires. So the total hours, everything is included in the 500. It's not just the welding. Oh wow. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So you reach out yeah. to your international audience to Facebook and do, do you have other forms of reaching out? Yeah, I, th I think Facebook is my is my only form of reaching out to international audience for now. Uh -huh. I, 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 yes, I also have an Instagram account, but nothing serious is happening there. Uh -huh. I don't get any any serious reactions on Instagram, but Facebook Facebook has been good. No sales on Instagram. No, no sales. No inquiries on Instagram as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's been the same too. Most of my sales uh, over the last 20 years, Facebook. Well. So, yeah. I had a similar experience. So, uh, what, uh, how your styles changed over the years? Okay, like I said before, um, while I was training in the university, it was clay from clay we produced with fiberglass. So um, after after I graduated in two thousand and twelve, um, I started doing something else. I <laughs> yeah. I had to raise money to set up a studio, so I I started doing something else. I was working with a with a store booking firm and. Um, after that did not work for me because I was becoming very useless. I had to come back to arts and I had to think of something that was not really common in the art market. And um, th that was, um, will I say, I started off with um, washer. I was working with washers, some steel washers then. Uh -huh. I After a while, I felt steel washers because I had a lot of... Um, um, Nigerian artists doing steel washer sculptures as well. So I had to try something else in 2019, and that was how I started off um, with the wire sculpture. The, um, wire sculpture yeah. Do you have any with you that you can show us that are on sale right now? Okay, you might have to give me a second. Okay, okay. I don't have any. Yes, this is my room. You give me a second. Okay. It's pretty amazing uh, the work you do and how much hours you have to put in making one piece. 
Yeah. You have a studio or you work? Robin. Robin is it? Okay, I'm here now. Okay. I can see uh, your face a little bit, but not uh, the wire sculpture. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, that is your piece of the small world, or? Yes, I, I have two. I still have two pieces here with me. Oh, nice. Yes. I had to introduce key Show on everyone. this particular piece here. and the wires. So this, I just... I just completed, but I'm not comfortable with the finishing, so I might just have to repaint it. Oh, I see. So yes. how many pieces I of wire is in this one? I'm here to count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm here to count. Yes. Yeah. So. And I see have the DS sculpture wrap. Oh, this one's ready to go. To its home. Yes. yes, yes. What piece is this called? That's the the one on my timeline. Um, Nightwalker. That's it. Yes. Nightwalker. Okay. Yes. Yes, Nightwalker. That's it. So, what advice you give to somebody who's starting out in any kind of art? Okay, I just, um, all I can just say just for, for them to find a style because you cannot just go about copying people. So I think the the, the first thing to do is just to find a style. Uh -huh. um, um, that's that's the only way of creating a, a, an identity. So you find a style, you get so comfortable with it and um, the person should never stop. So you keep trying and there is no limit to the kind of possibilities um, our opportunities the person can get from from doing us. Yeah, endless possibility. And what yeah. uh, once you this kind of art that you do is heavy uh, training, like five hundred hours. So how do you prevent yourself from burning out or finishing a piece? Okay, if I if I get you correctly, how do I prevent myself from burning out? Yeah, like you, how you keep the balance in life. Oh, I I I just give I give myself a couple of hours every day. I don't. There's no way I can do the um five hundred hours straight. So, uh, in a day, I give myself up to <laughs> I give myself up to thirteen hour um thirteen hours. Thirteen hours. So I take breaks wow. in between because. Yes, I take breaks in between. I think the most difficult part of the um the style is the bending of the wires. So that takes me a lot of time. For the for the modeling, it doesn't really take doesn't really take much time. For the casting, that's the simplest of them all. But bending the wire is where the work is. So I I always um take breaks in between. That's uh -huh. maybe in a day I I. I start off as early as five. Depends. It depends on how how happy I feel in the morning. So I can start as early as five a.m. and uh, by seven I'm taking my first break, um, wow. maybe for a couple of uh, minutes, up to like fifteen minutes, and I'm back again. So wow. that's how I do it. And yes. So when you first start out this business, uh, you know, actually, how. Uh, how what kind of challenges do you face? 
Okay, well, when I started off, I think the challenge, just like every other imagine artist, the, um, you face the challenge of rejection. Yeah. You also face the, uh, the challenge of, um, will I say funds to, to buy materials to work with? Uh, because uh, you cannot do anything if you don't have the materials to work with. You, don't, you will not have nothing to show. So, right. um, yes, aside that and... Yes, especially rejection. I think that's just the most difficult part of it because even when you manage to get the money to do the job, you just um walk up to some gallery and you like ask them oh. if they they would uh, yes if they if they want to represent you or not uh, get rejection from them and that can be very difficult to deal with. Do you do a lot of custom pieces or is all from your imagination or? Yeah, I can, I can also do custom pieces, but at the moment I've not had any, so um, I do all of this from my imagination. Oh, nice. Very good. Yeah. Um, so what's your like favorite favorite piece that you've made so far? Um, I might, I might have to go back to 2019, I made, um, yes, 20, yes, 2019, I made a piece titled Con Contemplation, you will see it on my timeline, Contemplation, Contempl that was the first, um, yes, that's the first um, um, freestanding post that I did. Okay. So, actually, the, yes. That piece, the, the piece sold at an auction in 2021, and that gave me my breakthrough. Very good. Yes. Do you get, all, from selling it, do you get all the money back from your materials and your hard work? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. do I make more from the international sales than it is from the local sales? So it covers everything. That's good. What uh what's your favorite memory of making the art? Like you have a favorite, favorite piece of, like your favorite memory to to make to make the breakthrough in your art. Um, sorry, if I if I really get the question right, my favorite memory since I started since I had the breakthrough. Yeah, like you were doing the art and you just said like, wow, I made this most amazing thing. Yeah, it still goes back to, back to that same um, piece. The moment I, 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 I sold it through the auction, the UK auction house. Oh, I think wow. that's just my biggest piece. Yes. Even though I've had more sales since then, even um, sales that paid me more than the first one. But, right. I think, I, yes, I always remember that first. That, that was the most important. Wow. So what other, uh, what other uh, knowledge or uh, anything else about your art you want to share with us? Yes, I, I might just have to say the, the traded hair on most of my female boss pieces. Uh -huh. the camera close. Yes. So this this was a very common style when I was a kid. Ah. Uh. So that was in the nineties. Yes. You when you come out to the streets, you normally have um ladies walking about with with this style of hair. Uh -huh. So um I don't know. I just have to say due to civilization civilization and I don't know. It's not in the past, you really see people wearing that um, traded hair. So I try as much as possible in every of these pieces um, where I do the female bows, I, I try as much as possible to to bring back that memory of or try try I try to preserve the the cultural heritage the attached cultural to the style history. Of through your art. Yeah. That's yeah, true through my art. Yeah. Uh, what else you want to share with us about your artistic process or how you got to where you are? The 
just um okay I, I always start off with the imagination i imagine what i want to do and i i make a sketch a sketch of it so after the sketch i i start the modeling i make uh -huh. the amateur i make i start the modeling which I, there's modeling so many beautiful things so after the clay modeling i cast and i start bending the wires so after bending the wires as you can see on the surface you rarely see those um um when I say wording marks. Uh -huh. you, you won't see it on any of these pieces because I went from I went from the back. Okay. So the wording is done from the back in the mold. Uh -huh. That one is not done yet, correct? Yes, this this one is done. It's just with the I'll have to repaint it. It's done. Oh, it's done. Okay. Yeah, you can see the base is covered. I'll still have to repaint it. Are are you going to uh do the lips again? Is that what you're saying to us? No, it's just it's just the finishing. I've I'm done with the welding. It's oh, you're finishing. done. Okay. Yes, I'm done with the work. I I use the I use the different color from the ones I've been using on my previous pieces on the inside. And you can see it doesn't really look that good. Are so you are you going to, to start painting your wire too or using different color wire in the future or now I'll keep painting. I'll keep painting. This is the only wires we have in Nigeria. So I'll I'll keep painting. Oh, Unless okay. I can get stainless. If I can get stainless or maybe copper or something else. But for now, I'll keep painting. Yeah, it's 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 pretty incredible. I I mean, even I just it's pretty incredible the structure and everything. Even if you just do just in silver, silver wire. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been uh really nice to have you. Um uh if there's anything else you want to share with us. No, nothing else for now. Okay. Well we'd love to have you on again on 360 art drops on the YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we can have you again whenever you want to introduce a piece or anything else you want to say. You're most welcome to schedule another podcast. Session. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, namaste. Yeah. <laughs> namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Thank you, Sophia. Thank Absolutely. you.